So one day in, in Nima Marcus in, in the men's department, the escalator from upstairs goes right down into the men's department. So when you come down, you can see the entire men's department. Um, and I'm, you know, doing whatever I was doing at the time with other salespeople, whatever. Coming down the escalator was like 12 people mm -hmm. together. And one of them was Ralph Lauren. So I realized this is Ralph Lauren's team. So I walk right to the escalator as he's coming down. Mr. Lauren, I'm Jeffrey Tweedy. I'm the manager of the men's department. Can I show you your section, show you around? Because being in the, in the, in the fashion world as a salesperson, assistant manager, you're going to have the gift of gab because your, your first approach to any person walking into your, in your environment is, how are you today? May I help you? You've got to figure out some kind of conversation besides, may I help you? What else is the thing that's going to make them trigger to want to have a conversation with you to sell them something? Right. Yeah. So go ahead. Go so ahead. I walked over to him and I showed him around and I was very knowledgeable of, the, of his business in that store, how much business he was doing dollar per square foot, what we needed more of, what was being marked down, what wasn't selling, who the cons cons consumer is that comes in our store. And what are the other things around him that's doing well and not doing well? So he said to me, what do you want to do? I said, what do you mean? He says, what would you like to do with your career? I said, I'd like to be in the fashion industry. He says, well, you got to be in New York City. He hands me a card from one of his assistants, like, give him a card, you know. I'm thinking, okay, big deal. He gives me a card and um, he said, let's keep in touch. We're gonna get you in school. I'm like, okay, okay. right? So, he's, so he's, he's basically, I'm gonna get you in school. And I'm not thinking, I'm thinking, yeah, this guy, Ralph, oh, yeah, sure, he's gonna take my call. That's not happening, right? So I think he was just being courteous, courtesy to me, courteous to me, and probably, Three months, four months. One thing that you, in, the, in the fashion industry, in working retail, you get in the habit of when you work with a, when you work with a person and you sell them $10,000 worth of product, or if you sell them $2,000 worth of product, one thing you always do is write notes. Mr. Smith, thank you very much for purchasing the shirt and tie. Look forward to seeing you next time you come in Neiman Markets. Um, whoever, you know, look forward to seeing you Christmas time. We have great cashmere sweaters coming in. I know you bought one of every one last year. New colors are coming in. You get in the habit of writing these wonderful notes. Still to this day, I write notes. So at the time, you also embracing the industry by reading everything about the industry from a distance. So you get DNR, which is the daily news record of the fashion industry. You get GQ, you get all these magazines. You get them, you get them. That's how I was living. I was teaching myself. Mm -hmm. And I would read, Ralph Lauren opens a new store in London. Ralph Lauren celebrates his 45th birthday. Ralph Lauren, so what I started to do was write notes Mr. Lauren, congratulations on the new store in New York City, Jeff Tweedy, and I would send it to that card. Mr. Lauren, happy birthday on a birthday card. I would send them. So at the probably four months of this, and I call it stalking from a distance, <laughs> um, I get up enough nerve to call. Because at this time, the timing was that I knew I had to do something because school registration, I knew enough about college that it's time to start thinking about it mm -hmm. and how you get to New York to go to school. Cause I can't, if you don't do it now, I gotta wait another year. So I had to make a move. So I got up enough nerve to pick up the phone from the office, my office in the back of Neiman Marcus and call. And I, I mean, it was like, I was, I've never, I've never in my life been so nervous besides meeting Barack Obama. That moment, meeting Barack Obama was the most nervous part ever to pick up that phone and dial New York City. And First one, sure, let me put you through to the executive office. Okay, now I'm getting real nervous because you're not supposed to put me through. You're just supposed to take a message and keep it moving. Mm -hmm. Blow me <laughs> off and there's some guy called and, and then they put me through the executive office. Then the executive office said, hold on, let me get you Mr. Lawrence's assistant. Now I'm going, like, this is like real, really? This is really happening right now? And his assistant picks up, whose name was Claire at the time, says, Jeffrey, how are you? Hold on. And I'm going, what the fuck is she doing? What does she mean, hold on? <laughs> right? Mr. Lauren gets on the phone. I said, Mr. Lauren, I'm sorry to bother you. It's Jeff Tweedy, the African-American gentleman you met at Neiman Marcus a while ago. Yeah, yeah, I remember you. Hold on, we're gonna get you in school. Right? So following was me getting in school. Mr. Lauren, get me in school. 20-minute interview, I'm in FIT. But what was amazing about that, what I didn't realize is that, um, and, I, and, I, and I speak about this sometimes, how we prepare ourselves for the opportunities, right? And I didn't realize I was preparing myself for the opportunity. The way I prepared myself for the opportunities was all the notes. 
So when you start to see that name over and over, Jeff Tweedy on a note, Jeff Tweedy on a, on a, on a birthday card, who gets all the notes and the cards? The, the assistant. assistant. There you go. So the assistant thought I was a friend. Oh, Jeff Tweedy, let me put you through. Because I see all these cards and notes you sent to Mr. Lauren, you gotta be a friend. Because <laughs> back then there was no rock and roll designer that you really writing a note to. You got what I'm saying? You wasn't really, nobody in the industry was really writing Johnny Versace or George Armani a note to say, Absolutely. I admire what you do. Absolutely. You know? Um, and that's how it happened. And I'm in FIT now. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.